What's up guys? Uh, we're gonna go over how to hold kick pads or tie pads uh, properly today and we'll go over some common pitfalls. Uh, this is gonna be a very beginner friendly way to hold pads. So uh, if you do decide, if you are just not at a gym and just some random guy who bought some pads that look like this from Dick's Sporting Goods, I would suggest not hitting them, all right? Because you will get kicked in the face at some point by your buddies. Uh, we've seen it in here with professionals. So uh, we wait a while to teach you how to hit these and teach you how to hold these uh, because injuries can happen. I mean, if you look at one of the most famous trainers, Mike Wilkeljohn, right? He has a, a fake eye, a glass eye from one of his professionals that he had a relationship with he, for years, right? And they're on the same page. They can, they can know what to hit before he even says anything, but accidents can still happen at the highest level. So they can absolutely happen at the lowest level. All right, so we want to make sure we hold properly and we hit properly too, right? It's on both of us to be responsible. Watch out. All right, we'll get out of this way. All right, so the first thing is um, I'm going to have Jeff throw a rear kick, okay? There's more than one way to hold. This is how I like to hold. This is pretty safe, okay? I'm going to be in my stance. So I'm also working my uh, softball stance as well with my footwork, all right? But basically what you want to do is you want to touch the tips of the pads together right here. You don't want one ahead of the other, okay? You want it just nice and neutral here, okay? And now I get a good height based off of my training partner's height. He's a little taller, so I'll stand a little taller. If he's a little shorter, I'll stand a little wider, okay? So we're here. This is just going right to the body. Go ahead, Jeff. Boom, very good, right? As that kick comes in, I'm giving it the proper amount of support. It's the same thing as if he throws a jab, and I just give it a little smack, right? Just give it the amount of support it needs. I don't crush it and I don't do nothing where he's gonna hurt his elbow. It's the same thing. He can hurt his, his hip, his knee, uh, if I don't give it support there, right? So again, we're here, very, very good. I'm breathing out, he's breathing out. And if I'm training this person, I'm looking to make sure his arms are swinging, that he's coming up off the, uh, off the heel, on the toe, um, whatever else I wanna give him as far as advice. So that's how you would just hold for a standard rear kick, okay? Let's look at some common pitfalls that I see on a daily basis, all right? Number one is height being all over the place, right? If I'm a lot taller and he's a lot shorter, pretend you're five foot five, right? If I'm all the way up here, he basically has to throw a head kick at that point in order to hit me, which is a different technique. This is just going to the body, okay? Uh, the, one of the other biggest ones I see is pad holder trying to look cool or whatever, and they kind of keep it like super flat. That's gonna make, yeah, that's gonna make Jeff develop a super straight up kick, which is not what he wants for a Muay Thai round kick, okay? That's gonna be very easy to catch, have no power to it, um, and he's probably gonna kick an elbow and hurt himself, okay? So I want a good angle of the pad here, not flat, flat down, okay? Uh, and the last thing, we'll call this the ring window. Shout out to uh, uh, Segundo. Uh, he doesn't do this anymore, but he used to have a problem with this, right? We call it chicken wing, all right? So as he gets ready to kick, guys will get all excited and they'll do this kind of stuff, and then he goes to kick, and then he might get it back together, but he might not, all right? And either way, it's an awkward uh, thing to do, and just, it's an unnecessary movement, right? You just want to hold him there, all right? We're moving, we're moving. Maybe I call it jazz, okay? All right, kick. Good, right? And then eventually, as soon as he sees this, I don't need to say kick, he'll just start hitting it. But again, I give it the support it needs from my body. Uh, last thing I'll say is do not, do not, do not use the triceps. All right, that's probably the number one cause of partners getting kicked in the face while holding pads, right? We've seen it in here, I've seen it in other gyms, especially they go here, boom, there goes my face, right? So make sure you want as much surface area as possible protecting you, the pad holder, all right? So we're here, all right? All right, I'm elbows in right here. I'm, I'm giving it some weight. I'm giving it a slight push, but I'm definitely not using my arms, right? I'm nice and relaxed. I'm injury free. He had a good time. All right, we're working on our kicks and we're working on how to be a better partner to each other. That's it, guys. Thank you.